Hi, Greg here again with another video helping you transform your business, helping you transform your life. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to install Odoo 15, the brand new just released. It was literally just released today. I'm so excited about it. So please go below, click the like button, click subscribe. And if you want, leave leave a comment down below, please, about you know if you're using Odoo, what you're using it for. And it really does help the channel and helps me make more videos like this. So like I always do, I want to get started right away. And we're at a prompt, we're at a, a, a terminal prompt uh, with a, a brand new Ubuntu server. I set it up just for this video, so there's nothing that's been installed on it yet. It's, it's brand new from scratch. You could just literally go to uh, Amazon uh, AWS and spin one up and have it here right at the command prompt, because that's exactly what I did. And so let's begin, like we always do when we're installing Odoo, and do a sudo app git update. And this sudo app update makes sure that everything is updated on the server. Next, we do a sudo apt upgrade. And stay on here too, because I am at the end, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna have a complete Odoo 15 install guide as well that'll go along with this. It'll take me a couple of days to get it together, but when I do, I'll have a link here down below the video. Next, we're gonna have to install some packages that are kind of pre like prerequisites for the Odoo in installation process. So these are things like Python 3 and Git and uh, things like that, libraries that are required for part of the Odoo installation. So I'm gonna paste these in here and hopefully these will all go through smooth and we'll see in a second. All right, next what we need to do is create a, we need to create a uh, system user for this account. So it's always never a good idea to use the user that the Ubuntu user that comes with it because that has uh, what they call pseudo permissions and it has root permissions to do anything on the server. So we create this user and this is the command we use. I just paste it in there because I want to type it out. And that's going to create a user an Odoo, called Odoo 15 and that user will be doing all the operations. And once we do that, we also have to create a user inside of Postgres for that particular user as well. So there's the user for the system. This creates a user in Postgres so that the database can be used by that same user. Now, you don't have to do it that way. Uh, you can create a separate user and in the configuration file change the user. They don't have to be the same. This just makes it a little simpler um, and just you know, do what works for you in your environment. Now, what we want to do is actually now install Odoo. So I'm going to go to the Odoo user. So we make sure we have the Odoo user here. And at this point, we want to actually create and clone the 15 branch into our, onto our server. So now that we're here, there's our git clone statement and I can hit enter and we clone in and it'll create that directory inside of there and actually install the Odoo source code for us. And we need to get and create, I like using a virtual environment for all my installs. It's a best practice because what happens is, is you might have an Odoo 14 install on your server. You might have an Odoo 15 install. You might want to install WordPress. You might want to install all different kinds of systems. And if you just install packages for, for one in the, in the main you know, server, and then uh, that you could have conflicts between packages. So we create what's called virtual environments. And they're really simple to use. And we're just going to use a few commands to make this happen. I have a Python 3. This basically calls the virtual environment command. And I'm creating a virtual environment called odoo-venv. This creates our virtual environment for us. So now, when we're in this virtual environment, which we access by one more command. So we created the virtual environment. Now we use this command source. And then this accesses the virtual environment we just created. And we're just basically running uh, a command in there that will now have in front of this the odoo-venv. And so what this means is all of these packages that we now have to install, all these requirements for odoo, they're all going to be installed inside this virtual environment and they won't like bleed out and interfere with other environments on this server. So I can install this, an important pip3 install, this wheel is a package installer like pip, and then 
this is the main install. So really all of this was getting ready to install here the main requirements of Odoo. All right, and it's always good when there's no errors and it looks like everything's installed clean and good uh, like it is now. And so at this point, usually in most instances, this is where I want to test and make sure the server can run. And so I will go to my directory where Odoo is installed. And if I do an ls, that's like list the stuff in the directory, I can see here's the files and the folders that were pulled down when I did the, the git clone and pulled the source down. And the odoo-bin is the one we want. And we can really launch it just by doing period forward slash Odoo dash bin, just like that. And now it's gonna start everything up. And this is already a really good sign. Um, it says here you need the WKTML to PDF report to print PDF reports. That's fine. We're not, we will, we can add that in. We will do that as our next step. But uh, now we can go here and actually see if and test if the, if we can create a database and actually install an application and Odoo actually working. And sure enough, when I go to the IP address in 8069 here, I have this web-database-selector here. And so it's filled in the master password, and you can see, I can see it there. And I can create a database. I'm going to say test odu 15 is our database name. I'm going to use admin for the email, and I will, in this case, also use admin for the password. Just do um, United States as the com country. And... I'm going to go ahead and fill it with demo data so we have some stuff to look at for our very first test installation. This is it, the very first video, Odoo 15, getting uh, an install here with uh, no, no glitches, no problems so far. All right, so it's installed and we have the sales application. I clicked and installed it, and here we are. Odoo 15 in the flesh and I can go here to settings and we'll verify that we are in fact running Odoo 15 community version day of release been working with it now for almost 10 years I can't tell you how excited I am for all of these great new features if you haven't seen the video uh, on the Odoo features yet that's uh, I'll link to that also down below and uh, if I can get 10 comments on this video, I will create uh, how to hook up Odoo to Nginx and uh, create configuration files so Odoo will restart when the server uh, restarts and some of the other key issues as well as install the uh, WK to HTML PDF. That's like actually a pretty critical one that I would, uh, you know, will follow up with another video. So I hope this has uh, been helpful to you. Uh, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.